What's up, guys? Uh, awesome Bill here. Today we're gonna be playing uh, Depression Quit or Depression Quest. Um, so it's about it's a game about uh, uh, you are a person with depression and you have to do uh, normal, ordinary things. And we'll see how that goes. So we'll see if it shows up though. Early on a Monday morning, your mid-twenties human being and a sick, significant other named Alex, who you're rather fond of that you have been seeing exclusively for the past few months. The rest of your social circle consists of a variety of friends and acquaintances, some of whom you met at your day job, which is a little boring, but pass, but pays with the rent. You'd like to be doing more with your life as, as your parents, as would your parents, but you're still in the process of figuring out what that means and how to go about it. You're also dealing with motivational issues and some, sometimes making feelings of being these things difficult. You feel lazy, or you feel, oh my gosh, you feel like this is probably your fault and bad days can feel inwardly angry and down on yourself for being lazy. But you're not, uh, yeah, whatever. Okay, next. Stop 
going to try to sue a nurse. Go and find your partner, just having way the birthday girl, and that was immediately like, lines up with the, when she quickly sees you. I'm sorry, you came, I wasn't sure if you were making you have your touch on the shoulder and turning and turns back to kiss. What? Back? And she turns back to you to apologize and let Oh, Alex hands you a beer and collects a kiss on your cheek before you get to deal with another thing. So, cool. Goers, you sit in their bed and set your bag down. Thankful there's a personal space and feeling like it's best. Cross the profile. Mess around on your phone while you sit. That's so stupid. Why did I pick that? Alright, let's go back. Let's pick something else. Um, that one. There we go. You're not even sure to do this yourself. Scanning for a party for familiar faces. It looks like you do. Slightly awkward waiting in anticipation for him to ask him to come on short notice. I don't know. How do you feel with the cats? Why not feel them? It takes you a moment, moment to process any the information you're caught off guard and so you can earnestly try to sell you the idea of taking the last kitten off his hands. I'm not. It's not something you had specifically done before. So he's asking me to. Okay. I'm allergic to cats, so decline your mind enough. If I was depressed, which it happened before, but um, I would like a buddy, so we'll become a cat owner. Why the heck not? Oh, he's so cute. He's so cute. He's something off, uh, so it's just about the cat. Next. Pizza to the life Friday out of the quick time. Corner. Uh, something about weekends, planning, just for a few shift. Get a call from Alex, it seems like you're ready to go. Oh, so they want a party. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Watch comedy shows on Netflix and a box pizza open on the coffee table in front of you. Yeah, that's what I do. Uh, you 
start to feel anxious if you bed for a fight, staying all night again. Friday night for you, are you happy with me being like this? She turns, why do you ask me that so often? You feel her body stiffen and pull away from her mouth. Frick. Um, well, I mean, you start, but you're unable to try and think of how to answer. I know, I don't know, I guess I got That's hard. Gosh dang it. I know it's not what you'd usually be up to. Oops. Um, I don't know, I guess I can get worried. I'll just do that one. Why the freak not? What do you mean by that? Defensively ask what she mean. No, because I don't want to be defensive, dude. Test the waters with that, like that one. Though you find it hard to lay low, so she, he's opening up to you. and check your email if you messages subject hey buddy body hey sorry it's been a few weeks i meant to get to this sooner but it took a while for me to get a hold of my folks back home dad told me to say hi by the way anyway i remember we talked about the last time i saw you and i hope you were insulted but i asked mom for the number of her for her therapist don't worry i didn't tell her who who it was for i think she's worried about me now haha <laughs> Anyway, the number is that number. It's really good office. You should look into it. Talking to someone never hurts. If you're really worried about money, don't be. If you. Uh, whatever. K. 
kitten curls up. Hmm. Try to let call the number even though the mirror thought of talking to someone else makes you anxious. She's cared. She cared enough to send it to you after all. Sleep on it, see how you know. I I think we should go get some help. Yeah. Uh, you read through a man's email two or three times, sit there and stare at your computer for a while. Ow. Um in front of your computer to question things. Conversation is quick and not nearly as pleasant. You were sparing the quicker than you can say fraudulent slip to you schedule an appointment quicker than you realize upon appointment day rolls around. What do you do? Um, no. Get to the therapist's office. Duh. Before your alarm rings. Unfortunately. Okay. Alarm blows. I like waking up before my alarm. You, you gotta do stuff before, like. And that leaves you home and alone. Next. 2 a.m. on the Sunday morning. You have work in the morning. You're going to see the green glow. Just blah, 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 blah. Uh, it's your come with anxious thoughts. See, that sucks so much. It does suck. I've had it before. Thoughts run too fast. Uh, what do you do? Go on your computer. Sleep is clear, not having. <laughs> Fine. Huh? Obviously, you need to reach out. Your head feels too noisy. Um, do I call? I don't know how that co-worker's totally, totally out of question. Unconditionally loves you even though she doesn't always understand you. Um, 
because I feel like they, they she'll she'll be able to make you go go good. Um, Mr. Is there anything that's great you've decided to come to see me? It's not an incredibly important first step. She begins. Uh, so he's getting he's getting drugs for depression. through the rain to Alex's apartment. Uh, oh dang. Uh, oh jeez. Clad in robes with the bare skin of her legs peering out from underneath. What about you coming and warm up? She asked designately. Er, yeah, designated slight cheesy, sexy voice. <laughs> um, well. <laughs> I don't know. I will go down. Aimlessly, no. I really feel like that would be the best one out of those three. stupid if you don't continue the meds. Um, dead attic. Oh, it was... I don't know. No, she needs to know. Yeah. 
feel like Alex is gonna cheat on me, but... Depression goods or d depression quest on it. Um, you know what I really need to do? I need to make. Hold up here. Um, Is that it? Uh, yeah. Okay, there we go. Oops, gotta fix this. Turn that off. Alrighty, guys, thank you for watching. I will. Up. I don't even know. Like, comment, and subscribe. I always love the feedback. Um, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.